ちり封筒の特訓だよ What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Ace Operative, and today, people, I will be reviewing Boruto Naruto Next Generation Episode 123 Urashiki Return. This episode, okay, it, it left me with a lot of questions. As you can clearly see, the title is Urashiki Return. Now, throughout this whole episode, they had spent so much time just fighting the puppet. I understand that the puppet is a very formidable opponent against the full-on assault of Shikadai Tamaru, Tamari as well as Boruto. I understand that the puppet is a big deal. Even for um, Shinki, but Shinki has his um, Iron Sand to give him the slip. But it's just like, these are Toneri's. That's the thing. That, that's the thing that I kept in the back of my mind. These, this is Toneri's puppet, and I'm just like, he's saying to myself, how can a puppet be this formidable, dog? That's one thing that I don't understand. How is it possible that this one puppet is just, is, is just that versatile, and and the way in which he's fighting, he's made. He's making all these suckers look like a straight up joke. Now, Boruto and them, they had strategic assault. They tried their best to, to stop him um, when he was above ground and underground. And seeing, I was like just saying to myself when it came down to tomorrow. Tomorrow, it's been how many years since we last saw you on the battlefield, my girl? Like... Now, you have to have some type of new type of jutsu. And sure enough, sure enough, she did. She actually brought out a new type of wind style, sea dragon. And it was able to lift the sucker up. And then, this is where the plot development for Shikadai. You remember that little that little um episode that was dedicated to Shikadai? Where we found out Shikadai was secretly like honing his wind style skills. Uh, and on this episode, he took that curve one step further. After just seeing his mother do the sea dragon just one time, he used up all the chakra to do the same thing. And as well as coordinate with Borto to take the puppet out. And I was, I was ecstatic. I was ecstatic. I didn't think the boy was going to be able to do it. I understand, like, he learned the wind style, but I didn't think he would be able to pick up that, you know, pick up his mother's wind style that Facts, but Shikadai has always been a quick learner, what can you say? But I didn't expect that puppet fight to last that long. That puppet fight had lasted the whole entire episode. It wasn't until near the end of the episode where we have Urashiki come out of nowhere, dog. Come out of nowhere and just straight up yeets Tamari's chakra. And then didn't just stop with her. He yeeted Shikadai's chakra. And they both fell to the ground like there was nothing they could do. And it's just like, he is already, and he's just enjoying himself, dog. That's the thing about Urashiki. From what we have seen with Urashiki, he's just enjoying all this. He's just taking it. He's just having a good time. But he knows, like, that's going to have to come to an end because they're getting closer and closer to Henley Village. And he wants to stop that as fast as he possibly can. And I'm like you're saying, since we're about to go into the next episode, Sasuke or someone have to come to Boruto and Shinki's aid. There is no other option. This episode was very good. It was it was very good. I was expecting a little more, you know, like animation, you know, a little bit more. They could just, you know, throw in the episode just to spice it up because, you know, it was like one big old puppet battle. So it it. And some of the stuff, it felt like, like the tactics in which they were using, it was constantly reused. And at, at one point, it started to get like boring. Like why? The, it felt like to me they were drawing out this episode. They wanted to draw this thing out as much as they can, and that tells me two things: one, this arc is not going to be that long; two, they wanted to save. You know, Borto and Shinki going up against Urshiki, and then probably have Sasuke like return 
and be able to like back them up. But I just feel like if we're going out, if they're going against Orshi, to need another another powerhouse, and I'll have to be Naruto. I'm like here thinking to myself, Naruto has to show up on the scene to put this sucker down. Because uh, look at all the chakra in which he has collected thus far. He has Gada's chakra. Um, he has Tamara's chakra. He has Shikadai's chakra. And he has the Prim de la Creme Tonery's chakra. Which we still don't know like this like what's going on with him. We just know that he has Tonery subordinate. That's pretty much it. And I really do want to see where she could go down this arc, but it's just looking like it's like nah. But I must admit something. This arc out of all the arcs, it has made me very excited to see a Boruto episode back to back to back. It's not seeing the little um little side character episodes every now and then, but when you get like some interesting uh, characters in this one and villains that actually feel like they play a significant role in this whole entire anime, it's just like, bro, you know, I, I want to tune in. I want to find out what's going to happen. And that's how it's just been. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Until next time, guys. Operatives! Move back. You are